Well, it's certainly been a busy week in the NHL. The draft is this week, and tomorrow the free agency frenzy begins. So much happening. So TSN Bar Down's Eric Kirk is here now to help break it down for us and tell us what's shaping up. So the draft is finished. The Leafs picking up a couple more draft picks over the last couple of days. Eric, what can you tell us about the new players and what kind of an impact they could potentially have on the team, maybe not next year, but perhaps down the road? Yeah, they've got some great young players that they're bringing into this system. Their first round draft pick, real late bloomer into the OHL season, really helped the London uh, Knights make their way through that OHL playoffs and almost got them all the way to a Memorial Cup. Uh, he started the first half of the season off pretty slow, but really ended on fire. 21 points in 20 playoff games. Uh, so the Leafs really liked what they saw. He only has one full OHL season under his belt, so he'll be back down there next season. And I'm excited to see what they can contribute in maybe two, three years' time. Mm -hmm. And, Eric, uh, this weekend is going to be like musical chairs, a free agent frenzy. What are, who are some of the free agents we should be keeping an eye on? You look at right at the top of the board has to be Patrick Kane. We saw him in a different jersey for the first time after he went to the New York Rangers at this year's past trade deadline. And we might see him in the third jersey soon because it's virtually impossible for the Rangers to re-sign this guy. They are right up against the cap. He's going to be asking for a decent amount of money. This is probably his last big contract mm -hmm. in the NHL. So where will Patrick Kane go? Chicago's been making tons of moves recently. Are we going to see him go back to Chicago? That would be pretty crazy. Um, and then his old teammate, Jonathan Taves, uh, he's already told the Blackhawks that he's not coming back. They have a mutual understanding that he will be going elsewhere. So all eyes will be on, on the two former Blackhawks and uh, even a little bit on Ryan O'Reilly. The Leafs are going to have to do a lot of cap jumping if they want to keep him on their team. It's going to be a lot of work for Brad Tree Living, but who knows if they can get it done. Yeah, what kind of hints has Tree Living been saying, if at all, about what potential moves the Leafs could make uh, You know, over the next day or two? Because, I mean, free agencies, there's so much of a focus on it. So many people think, okay, just sign one more player and maybe mm -hmm. that you know gives the Leafs the sort of bump they need to make it into the semis or finals of the playoffs next year. It, it appears right now like all hands are on deck on these William Nylander, Austin Matthews extension negotiations. It seems like the Leafs want to run this core back and build around them. Mm. So uh, all these fans that were hoping to rip down the core for it and completely change the culture in this organization, it's not looking like that's going to happen. Uh, it seems as if Tree Living is very confident that he's going to sign Matthews and Nylander to an extension. Unfortunately, though, Nylander's not taking less money than he was on on his last contract. Mm. Can't see Matthews doing the same either. So building around these guys is going to be a very, very hard thing for a, a new GM in Toronto to do. Mm. And, and remember when Nylander, he sat out about 20 or 30 games, wasn't it, a few seasons ago, really on that sort of, like, there was a real injury impasse yeah. between the, the team mm -hmm. and, and Nylander last time around. So it's pretty clear he, he stands firm when it comes to money. Yeah, and he's earned it. He's been yeah. virtually their best playoff performer recently. So uh, I think if, if anyone earns the right to say, I deserve this money, it's William Nylander. Okay, TSN Bar Down's Eric Kirk with a tee-up of what to watch for this weekend and a recap of the NHL draft. Thanks for your time. Have a great long weekend, Eric. We'll chat soon. Take care, Eric. Thank you. You too.